Okay, hang on just a second. So I go to home and then to my ranch and then go yeah. to GPS guidance. Yep. Okay. What does it show for your differential source? My... Like you should have general and then Was. you should have different. What's that? Was. Was, okay. What does it say for GPS rate? GPS rate hurts one. Okay. Can you change that? Um. Yeah, it, there's a choice of five or ten. Change it to five. Okay, five. Okay, GPS rate hurts five. Okay, now hit the guidance tab at the top of the screen. Guidance tab. Okay. okay. Now you have guidance steering type. What does it say for that? Um, uh, manual guidance. Okay. Okay. Then go ahead and uh, hit the hit the close button there in the upper right hand corner. The X. Yep, the X. Okay. Then hit the X again. Hit the X again. Now hit the uh, field field button there in the little, little like next to the home. Right, the grid. Yep, okay. the grid. And then now go ahead and try to set up a pattern. Okay. So the squiggly lines, yeah. Now now it's allowing me to uh, choose the the new pattern. Okay. Yeah, so pa the only way that we can that we uh, like uh, that the edge I guess feels comfortable in being able to do guidance is if the GPS rate is five hertz, meaning that it updates five times every second, whereas before it was set up that it only updated one time every second. So it didn't feel like the accuracy of GPS you were going to get was going to guide you well enough. So that's why you need to have five five hertz uh, just put in there. So that should be should be good to go now. Okay, and then to uh, to to change my my guidance width, all I do is go into guidance width, and then what have I got? I've got uh, uh, straight pivot, okay, straight line AB, okay, that makes sense. And then, okay, yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll play around with it and, uh, and, and see what I can get done here. Okay, sounds good. I, I appreciate your help. Yep, have a good day. Thank you.